Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're looking at upgrading MPN packages. Now this should be fairly straightforward, but there's definitely a few little nuances worth knowing about this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we'll just take the moment package and we'll look at uh, upgrading it through the uh, major, minor and patch versions and what you need to think about while doing these upgrades. Uh, right, let's jump in. So I've got, um, I've got a terminal here. So let's do an npm init and get ourselves a package.json. And then if I jump, we'll jump in the code. And so here's our package.json at the top here. No packages at the moment. So let's do an npm install of the moment package. And we'll look at what happens. So we get in our dependencies moment and we get a semver string, semantic versioning. Now, this goes um, from the left, it's major dot minor dot patch. So our major is two, we're on version two, and our minor is 24, uh, and our patch is zero. Now these work in this way, the patches, starting from the right hand side, are bug fixes that will not break any existing code. So you can be quite happily upgrading through these. If you run npm upgrade, um, you will always be getting patches. Um, the minor are new functionality, but again, it doesn't break existing code. So you should be pretty happy uh, running these ones in as well. So by default, this is what uh, NPM has installed for us when we do a, a plain old install. It's given us the caret character, which means running NPM upgrade will allow patch and minor upgrades. It won't allow a new and major version though. Um, the other options you've got in here are tilde, which will mean you can only do patches. Um, the explicit version, in which case you are gonna stay on that version. Uh, or a star, which will allow you to do major versions. But by default, this is what we get. Um, and when you try to upgrade, you need to know what this string, it's important to know what this string is gonna do for us. So, the hard thing to do up here, well, the thing that you've got to explicitly say to upgrade is for the major ones, and for that you need to give it a version. So, let's, um, let's just clean that up. And if I, let, let's install an older version of moment. So let's go back to 1.5.1. So you can see we're explicitly specifying the version with the at symbol on the end here. And in our package.json, we've now got 1.5.1. And when you kind of up to upgrade, there's a utility that comes with the uh, npm install, npm outdated, and that will give us some information. That will give us which value, which version we've currently got, 1.5.1. Now the wanted is what's going to install when you run npm upgrade. So we're going to get 1.7. Uh, we're not going to get 2.24 because that is going to require a major uh, version upgrade. So let's do um, npm upgrade. Now you can specify the package name here, and you probably should. Um, so let's do that. <laughs> Otherwise, it will affect all your packages uh, in, in the project. So, what did that do? We can see it's now changed up to 1.7.2, which is what we're expecting for that scenario. Uh, if you, if, you know, no matter how many times we run it again now, it's never going to bump up the major version with this caret character in here. Um, in order to get us to upgrade to that major version. You know, you need to check your code for the breaking changes, um, and you know, once you're happy with that, you can then do an npm, and we're going to have to do uh, an install. Well, let me just show you again. You know, even if we do npm install moment, you know, if we didn't have a package.json, that would give us 2.24, but as it is, it still doesn't upgrade it because it's respecting this semantic versioning in here. So with that in place, you need to do an npm install moment and actually give it the version number. That's one way to do it. You need to know that version number. You should do npm outdated, get the latest version number, type it in. Uh, you can see right that that's upgraded us now uh, to 2.24. Or let me just put it back to 1.5.1. Uh, 
or you can do an npm install moment and you can give it a tag so npm has tags in there and these tags point to specific specific versions and if the author is using the correctly latest will point to the most recent uh, version so we can do that and we should see it goes from 1.5.1 to 2.24 up here um, so yeah thing to take away there is uh, upgrading that version to the major versions you need to specify which version it is it's an action you've got to say look I'm happy to get this break-in version rather than just a, an npm upgrade which shouldn't affect your application in any detrimental way all right, there you go. Just a quick overview of NPM upgrading. Hope you enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you didn't, um, click that subscribe and alerts button. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.